So, so boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about negative numbers. Now, where in the world have you seen negative numbers? Where around you, your surroundings, where have you seen negative numbers? Anika? On a thermometer. On a thermometer. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Um, temperature, basically, right? Sometimes if you go to a very cold place like Canada or <coughs> New York, you might um, hear temperatures where it's negative 10 degrees, negative 5 degrees. Um, so, it's, so negative numbers is very common in temperature. Now here we have a number line. Um, now can you locate positive 2 and negative 2 on this number line? Thumbs up if you can um, locate that. Very good, very good. Now, how are, how are net positive 2 and negative 2? How are they similar? How are they similar? They make? They both are 2's, but um, negative 2 is below 0, and positive 2 is above 0. Excellent. Very good. Um, can someone repeat what you make just said? Nathan. If negative 2 is ne and positive 2 are the same 2, but negative 2 is, is lower than 0, and positive 2 is, is higher than 0. Excellent. Excellent. Nathan and Nathan are both correct. They're both similar because they're both 2. But positive 2 is above 0, and negative 2 is below 0. Now, what is the distance from positive 2 to 0? What is the distance from positive 2 to 0 on this number line? Rahul. 4. Is it 4 from positive 2 to 0? What's the distance? Oh, 2. 2, right. 1, 2. Now, what is the distance from negative 2 to 0? Raise your hand. What is the, the distance? Krish? 2. Two, right. One, two. Excellent. Now, so basically, two and negative two are opposites. Now, can you locate a pair of another pair of opposites on this number line? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Anita. Negative four and positive four. Right. Negative four and positive four. What is the distance? From four, from positive four to zero. What is the distance? What is the distance? Brianna? Four. Four, right. It's four. One, two, three, four. Now what about from zero to negative four? What is the distance? What is the distance? Brianna? Four. Four. Very good. One, two, three, four. Very good. So now what I want to do is, now for example, if I say, um, I went to the store and I spent three dollars. Okay? That's a loss of money, right? I'm spending three dollars. Now do you think that will be a positive three? Or do you think that will be a negative three? I'm spending $3. I'm giving away $3. So I don't have those $3 anymore. So do you think that's positive 3 or negative 3? Do you think I have... What do you think it is? What do you think that represents? What do you think that represents? Rahul? Negative 3. Negative $3. Why? Can you tell me? Can you explain to me why? Because first you have... Um, Three dollars, but then you like spend all of it. Then you don't have that money anymore. Right. Excellent. Can someone repeat what Rahul just said? Can someone repeat what Rahul just said? Brian. Um. It's negative because you you still have three dollars, but then you spend it away. So now it's gone. So it's. <coughs> very good, very good. <coughs> now let's say um, I, I, I'm playing the lottery and I won $2. Not a lot of money, right? Well, let's say I, I am playing the lottery and I won 
two dollars. I have two dollars extra now. You think that positive two or negative two? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Charlene, come up and stand under. Stand right next to the number. Where are you think it's positive two or negative two? Positive two. That is correct. Explain to me why. Very good. Very good. Excellent, Charlie. Very good. Now, what if I say um, I'm playing a game? Um, I'm playing, let's say I'm playing basketball. Okay? I'm basketball. I'm losing my basketball. I shoot. I score. I score a three pointer. Alright? So I score three points. Where on the number line will that be? I score three points. Where will that be? Where will that be? Zoe, come up to the number line and show me. Very good. Can you explain to me why? Okay, what 